what I have here are very, very light weights, and we're gonna do I's, Y's, and T's while doing a back extension. So when you're doing a back extension, you wanna make sure when you come up, you're not hyperextending. So you only wanna come up so you have a straight back, and that's where we're gonna do our, our I's, our Y's, and our T's. So I'm gonna come down, I grab my very light weights, I'm gonna come up, and I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna lead from my shoulders. That's an I, and my 10 and two position is my Y, and then my T. And I'm really squeezing in that mid back, and that's one. Then I'm gonna come down. So if you don't have access to a back extension machine, there's another way that you can do this with the medicine ball. Take your weights in front of you, and then squeezing from the shoulders, just do the lift again. It's okay. <laughs> so one of the antagonist muscles that we actually use a lot in climbing is our tricep muscles. We're focused so much on pulling that our biceps tend to get really strong really fast and maybe our triceps can be neglected. And the whole point here is to focus on the lat so you need to keep your elbows in tight and you're just gonna lower as far as is comfortable and then back up. What we don't want is for your shoulders to come in this way. You need to keep them nice and square, lower yourself down and back up. The movement may start off really small, especially as you're uh, getting, if you're weak, until you get strong enough to be able to do them. And then if you're super strong, you can really lower yourself down and lift yourself back up. If this is too much because you're using your whole body weight to lower you, you can use a bench. So here I'm just sitting at 90 degrees and I'm just gonna lower myself down and push up. You wanna avoid having your elbows come out to the side, really keep your elbows going back. And you wanna avoid your shoulders coming and rounding forward. So in climbing we do a lot of work with our shoulders, but it's not the top of the shoulders that we wanna focus on, it's the actual, it's actually this part of the shoulder that we wanna focus on. So in order to get those to engage, we do a lot of rows. In my circuit, we have several different ways that you can address a row. I learned this uh, similar exercise when I was training in Europe uh, at the Gimme Craft Cafe with the Dickey Corp. But what I really like about this is it wakes up this shoulder system and it really lets me be aware of them so that I'm more focused on using them when I'm climbing. The pulley lets me uh, move the system up and down and then I have a stool sitting out there so that I can be supinated, chest level up front. So I'm sitting here supported, my core is engaged, and I'm just gonna pull the grips and rotate to engage the arms. So the shoulders are doing all the work, and then I'm just gonna try to do them faster. If that's too hard to do, just simply drop it down. You can lean back this way. The next part that you can do with these, same idea, but this time I'm gonna do a row. So now I'm pulling them in. And you wanna work your way to making them faster. So again, an easier variation and an even easier variation. Now another way to get the rows engaged you take a ring, very positive hold, and you can do one arm rows or on the side, and you would pull them down and reach as far as you can, kind of blasting upwards. So pulling it in and blasting up. Not pushing with the feet to get up, really pulling from the shoulder. If that's too hard, walk it back. And when you start to get tired to make the completion, don't hesitate to help yourself. Pull up, keep it controlled on the way down. You do not want to let yourself fall into it. That will really jar the body and you can really hurt your elbows. All right, right here I have three different ways that we can do a row. I'm gonna do it from a, a kind of a plank position where my back is straight, the core is engaged, palm is flat, knee 
and 90 degrees. I'm gonna make sure that my shoulders are not dipping. They need to be square. And that I'm not looking up like this so that my back is not arched. So suck the belly up. Just kind of look in front, in front of you. I actually just wanna let the weight hang. And then I wanna pull from the shoulder to lift my arm up. I know it looks like the bicep's doing the work, but it's not. There's some bicep engagement, but I want the whole initiation of the movement to come from the mid back and the shoulder and the shoulder back. Now the reason I like a plate is I can actually do a little bit of finger training. So I just leave the weight hanging on my fingers in that open hand position. I can feel the stretch down the, the back and the extensors. And I'm just gonna lift again. They're gonna stay tight into the into the body, don't let them come out. And then just up until your arms are back as high as they can go without your elbows moving. And then you're just gonna lower them back down, flick the wrists at the bottom of the motion, and then back up, and that's one. You really don't wanna push the weights on this. Right now, um, when, especially when you're starting, you need to go for good form. So making sure that your body is staying in one position. If you're starting to do this, that's too much weight. So it's really, everything needs to come from the triceps. So here, pulling it down, flick the wrist out, back up. So start super light, work your way up. If you're getting 12 to 15 pretty easily with no fatigue, then you can increase the weights. 